Hey everyone, and welcome to Already Cancelled. I am Peter, that is Connor, and we are going to talk about Star Trek, the original series, season 2, episode 16. It's called The Gamesters of Triskelion. Full spoilers for the episode, as always. We were due a stinker. Yep. We were due a stinker, and I feel like they gave us a stinker, a great big fat stinker, uh, right after the Tribbles episode. They just had to do it, didn't they? I, I mean, I don't think it's quite as bad as some of the, the stinkers that we had earlier in the season. Sure, yeah, sure. Uh, but it's, it, just, it's just kind of boring and bland. It's boring, it's bland, it's on the nose. It, again, it's kind of got that whole godlike figures who have all this power and everyone yeah yeah can't fight back like oh the phasers don't work oh they can take control of the ship without any effort like oh okay so it's a godlike power even though it turns out to be brains in a table yeah <laughs> like, super evolved brains it's still uh, that's still essentially how it plays it is uh so so the plot of games of triskelion is they're doing something. The Enterprise is going somewhere to do something. It's not important because you never really find out anything about it because as soon as they try and beam down, Chekhov, Kirk, and Uhura get, like, grabbed. Snatched. Yeah. yeah. Basically, it beamed somewhere else via other means to this other planet where it's a sort of slavery slash gladiatorial combat planet. Although you wouldn't really get a planet vibe from it because you only really have this one little fighting room. Yeah, well, the, the fighting room and the barracks. Because I thought the fighting room was like the training area, and then there'd be like an actual arena somewhere else for the actual fights. Thinking yeah, that maybe, yeah, yeah. you know, maybe some extras in an audience or something like that. Like nothing huge, just something different. It felt like a, an actual spectator. No, I'm with you. Instead, we, everything was just in this like, one little training looking area. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Um, so, yeah, they get collars put on them. Uh, they're, they're they're given like these other they're, they're called thralls all, all the people are not even just thralls. people just thralls yeah uh, they're, they're all here and they're, they're giving like kind of like buddy thralls who kind of teach them how this place works and it, it, it is a buddy system isn't it it's yeah. like oh, you're, you're the new ones at, at, at the job well, well here's your buddy to train you up uh, of course Kurt gets the attractive slightly alien it, I, I, thrall. Like, yeah yeah Kurt seduces his way through that's that's his entire that's thing. That's basically yeah, uh, and, and then some of it just felt a bit heavy. Like th- there was a point where I was almost getting uncomfortable because it's like oh we need to punish these thralls for acting out, and someone brings out a whip, and for a minute I thought like it, it was playing as if Ahura was going to be whipped, and yeah. I thought oh this is uncomfortable. Why, why are we doing this? And then Kirk steps in and says no no I, I answer for my crew, and I'm like okay so he's going to take the weapons and. On the one hand, I'm like, well, okay, that's better than Hura getting whipped. But on the second hand, I'm like, yeah, but is that just like this white savior bullshit? Like just stepping in and taking it for it. And then, but then, if you're looking at it from the metaphor point of view, is it just this really on the nose thing of like white man taking the like, you know, like it's his turn to get I, whipped? Like I don't know. The whole thing was just like a minefield of like. I, they I try get to- what you're saying. I think this was most meant to be just. I mean, I, I, I get why you read yeah. it as this. I don't think that was the intention at all. Okay. I think <laughs> the intention was supposed to be, you know, because they keep telling Kirk, oh, you're not a captain anymore. Your rank doesn't matter. You're just another one of the people here. You're just another thrall. And this is supposed to be his way of going, no, I am a captain. It's supposed to be an act of defiance. Then threatened to whip Chekhov. It, just, it felt really uncomfortable. Because, I, I agree. Because it was specifically Ahura who was threatened with the whipping, and it just it felt a bit uncomfortable to me. It felt... I, 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 yeah, I, I, I got that as well, but I don't think that was the intention. Okay, but I don't know. I just every way I read it, because you know, Star Trek often, you know, yeah. has something to say about something serious, and I felt like, oh, maybe it's trying to do that here, because the whole episode is basically they come down to Slave Planet, and by the end, Kirk frees them from slavery and makes their captors train them to to be free people and tra- yes. train them how to be a society, and I'm like, I don't know. The the whole thing is very. Star- Starfleet come in and are the saviors, and I mean I know they save a lot of people, but just, this sp- episode specifically just felt really weird. It did. It. it did. It did. Because I mean, I- give, give here's here's my my things that I like. About okay. Them, so let's get those out of the way first. Ahura got to do something that wasn't just on the bridge. Don't, don't see that very often. Her going off on off onto a planet. Yeah, what specifically nice though? What like, you mean? Like when she's uh, fighting the. Just, just in, in, at all, anything. I think a lot of the time, Uhura, we j- she's just out of the comms and that's it. It's nice just to see her out and about. 
Yeah, I suppose. Or her mind is being wiped and then they treat it like no big deal and she's right. re- uh, yeah, <laughs> she, yeah, yeah, yeah. she's relearned everything I, she ever learned in two I weeks. I to get that. <laughs> but, you know, I like it when, when they actually do something with her, just to, you know, use someone else. The same thing I did, like, I liked most of the stuff between Spock and Sky. Oh, uh, like yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, honestly, yeah, their stuff was the best of the, the, the episode. Yeah. When they cut back to the Enterprise and they're arguing about what to do, like, do we stay here and look for them even though they think, I oh, know, we think they get beamed across the galaxy, like, across the universe. Like, they're, they're elsewhere. Yeah, like, they're, yeah. they're, you know, they're light years away. And they kind of argue about that. I don't really have any real standout moments from it, though. It's just kind it's of... Not. It, it, I think they, I think it's more I enjoyed it more because it was better than the, know, the stuff on the planet. But I fair. found myself going, yeah, hey, this stuff's all right. Honestly, the only thing I really liked about the episode was when they're first kind of like captured and the, what was his name? Galt comes out. Gal? Galt? Galt. Yeah. You know, the, the sort of head thrall who yeah. has the goatee and the bald head and whatever. He, he comes out and he's explaining things. And Kirk's... It's just after they've had a fight uh, when they arrived and he's like, hey, you two hurt? Like, are you okay? And Uhura's like, no, I'm fine. And then Chick goes, no, no one's hurt. And then he turns around and looks at the big, the big thrall behind him and he's like, yet... And I, I like that. Yeah. I, I like Chekhov. Chekhov's attitude is is great. Having some attitude, I like that. That that was about it. I, I did not particularly enjoy the uh, the romance stuff where Kirk's like, "Has no one ever told you you're beautiful?" And then he, he holds up the the metal tray. He's like, "This is this is beautiful. This is what beautiful is." And it's a reflection. Oh, uh, uh, it was it was cheesy Kirk seduction at its uh, at its worst. And then later on, he's he's topless, but he's just wearing this like sort of leather strap thing around his shoulders. And he's out with the the, the alien uh, Shanna, her name is, and they're out, they're out, and he's like, "Oh, tell me about these providers, these these godlike figures who who bid on us and you know buy us and all that stuff." And she's almost telling him, and she she get then her, her electric collar goes off, and she's like, you know, in pain, and he's like, "Oh, it's me, punish me, god damn it!" Uh, oh, actually, I will tell you something that I unintentionally enjoyed. It wasn't in the intended oh. way, but. The way he makes out with her and then immediately knocks her out was <laughs> kind of laughable. And not in a good way. It was just funny because it was bad. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, speaking of things that are bad, uh, so so they have the scene where he's whipped and he's basically running around the little training area from the you know the big thrall, the big sort of one with the, the, yeah. the fangs. He's whipping him, big beastie guy. And uh, the back of Kirk's shirt has been like, sort of like, you know, if the whip's slashed open, uh, slashed whip, open yeah. yeah. But he keeps getting hit and there's no more slashes. Whatever. I'm not complaining about that. Whatever. I, I get that they can't... You know, they want yeah, to save yeah, some time yeah, and they'll yeah. have Let it go. Out, right? My problem, though, is that later on when he's just wearing the strap thing, there's, like, one mark for where, where a whip would have been, right? It's, like, one sort of scar. Mm. But the thing is, though, is that it's some of the worst makeup I've ever seen because it was literally just a line painted on his back going down. Yeah, it, didn't it was look, pretty rough. Yeah, it didn't look like a cut or a, a, anything like that or where there was any kind of opening or any kind of bump, it was just a, a line of darkness going down the, his back. And I thought, okay, this was just... that. This was a cheap episode between it hopefully was, better yeah. things next time. Uh, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> yeah so, I, something, that, something that made me laugh a lot, it was uh, not long after they got to the planet, that, you know, he, he's like, I'm, I'm a captain. He's like, oh, no, you're not a captain anymore. Your rank means nothing here. You're just hmm. another thrall. And he goes outside, and the providers immediately go, hey, captain. Like they just address him as. Like, I'm like, Look, if you're not going to call him, if you're going to say you're not a captain, call him Kirk. Don't don't give him the the dignity of then addressing him as a captain. Like twenty seconds later, I don't know. Just, just yeah. baffled me. Yeah, I mean, it just it has this this lack of range. Where and I, I know Star Trek typically you have you know, they can only have so many sets, they can only have so many people involved and all the rest of it. But it's just oh, so we're going to have this wager. You know, he finally meets the brains. And they're like, oh well, we're just gonna have to kill you because you challenge us too much. But you know, you were entertaining. It's like, oh, I'll make a, I'll make a wager, right? Can't you like to wait? You know, make bets. I'm gonna, I'll fight. Me and my crew will fight your your thralls, and if we win, they all go free, and so do we. And you have to train them to be a better society. You know, it's literally a match to decide everyone's freedom. Yeah. But you know, alternatively, if they lose, the entire enterprise, all its crew, all, all thralls, all on the planet. Big bet. And then it's just like him and three bad guys in this little training area, <laughs> and it's just yeah, because they're like, no, nah, no, nah, we ain't having that. We'll we'll give you three on one. Yeah, how's those odds? I, I guess my big complaint is is that between the lack of scope 
and the fact that it's the same fighters constantly, the fighting honestly is not that interesting. It's not that nice to look it's at. It's not. I, I, before the fight started, I thought, oh, this is maybe all right because you got you know three different weapons. You get some variety in there. You can do, mm-hmm. some, but then it, it doesn't really do anything with any of it. And I'm not even just talking about that final scene. I'm talking about every when they arrive, when they have their training exercise, yeah, yeah, uh, and then the big final fight scene. I feel like all of them are just really boring and don't do anything interesting. They are, yeah. But I was kind of expecting it with the earlier ones because it's like okay, but I thought, oh, you know, end fight scene, they might do something a bit with it. They they sometimes do, and you know, they come out and they've got one of them's got this like spear thing, one of them's got a whip, one of them's got a piece of cloth. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just a shirt that's been wrapped up. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I don't know. Is there's just no emotion in it? There's no passion. Like I, the episode kind of kind of rests on the idea that you, you're going to care about Shanna because it, because the episode ends with her looking up into the sky at the Enterprise, going being like, "Oh, we're going to follow you." Yes, and I will remember. And it's, I'm just like, I don't care about you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not not even a final banter scene on on the no? ship. No, we end with her. We end with her being the final moment. As if it's we're... supposed to be like a, a poignant moment, and it's just not. There's nothing point about it. It's a goofy episode with gl- gladiatorial combat with some uncomfortable connotations in some places because they did either they, they were oblivious to it, didn't think it through, or I, don't I, know. I do think that's the most likely that they just didn't yeah. realize. That they, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm giving them a benefit of the doubt. Yeah, it's well, definitely there. Like when you watch it, you can't help but notice it. Yeah, I mean, the Star Trek, like you know, t- typically has. Just, has positive messages. Typically, it tackles things in a in a in a in a, in a, in a forward thinking manner. I, I just, but every so often, it t- tends to be these bad, goofier episodes that are clearly just there to have another episode. Like, you, you get the intention is supposed to be, oh, it's anti-slavery. It's supposed to be a good message. It just comes off wrong. Yeah. So, there you go. Nice and quick one, but sometimes, yeah. sometimes they hand you a turd. You just have to. Yeah, it, 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 tribbles. This is not. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not the trouble with troubles is that there's no more after that episode. If only. Well, it's not not in the original series anyway. Deep Space Nine, I know, has a troubles episode, but then uh, you know. Long time till we get to that. Be, be a while. Uh, that said, though, we're 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 getting it up there in season two now. Uh, of this, we're actually over halfway through the show. I know uh, this is this is amazing that that we've just got everything else. <laughs> so, uh, by all means, uh, let us know what you thought of this one in the comments and stuff. Uh, warning: there is a chance that we'll be skipping a week next week. There's a chance that there won't be an episode. Blame Netflix throwing a lots of things at us, and there's potentially a shadow drop of a third Netflix show that may or may not also start this week. If it does, chances of this having an episode next week are much slimmer. Very, very slim. Uh, so. So there you go. So that that is uh, that is Star Trek season two, episode sixteen, whatever it was called, Triskelion. The the was it the 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 Gamesters? That was it. The game, Gamesters. Yeah. Gamesters of Triskelion. I, I was like gladiators. No, that's not no, right. It's not gladiators. But anyway, that 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 is that is us. So uh, yeah, uh, support us on patreoncom slash TV if you want to. You get these a week early, just for the one dollar tier. Uh, Otherwise, get us on Twitter at mailed underscore fudge for channel updates and that kind of thing. Uh, but that's otherwise us. So thank you once again for watching. Keep watching TV. Uh, we'll see you next time.